All right, what is going on guys? Iridium here and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my best Valorant settings for 2021. And I know it's a bit into 2021 right now, but it's just been me figuring out what my favorite settings have been for this whole year. And I'm gonna show you guys right now, I finally figured out a really good sense, really good crosshair that I've been loving. And I've really been sticking with the same video settings as well. So I'm going to take care of all that for you guys today. If you're wondering from the YouTube comments or from my stream, it will all be answered in this video. And if you guys are looking for some new settings to switch up your video, maybe get some more FPS or just to have the best looking game while getting the best amount of frames that you can, this hopefully should help you out as well. But before it starts, if you guys would not mind hitting the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, it helps me out so much and helps you guys never miss a video here on my channel. And if you want to come watch me play Valorant live, I stream every day, except for Wednesdays and Sundays over at my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash iridium link is in the description i would love to see you guys there so make sure you come stop by and say you came from youtube but before we get into the settings i want to let you guys know that there are timestamps in the description to go to the exact section of settings if you guys want to see something specifically and then just get out of the video real quick they're in the description you can just click on one of those get that setting you want and then get the heck out of here but without any further ado let's get right into my settings Starting off, my usual enemy highlight color is yellow, and I actually just noticed that this tactical callouts in chat is here. I didn't even know if this was even a setting before. I might play around with this, but right now it's off, if you guys are wondering. Right now, the sensitivity that I've been using is 0.313 on 800 DPI. I recently switched up my DPI to 800 from 400, and I've been really liking it. I really don't feel any crazy difference from it, but it just kind of lets you get a different range of sensitivities. It's all complete up to you, but this is what I've been really liking. It's a good amount of arm aim wrist aim i've been winning a lot more fights with it and just being uh able to be more consistent with it as well and because i upped my dpi to 800 and my sense is now in 0.313 i've put my scope sensitivity up just a tad at 0.1 uh technically 1.1 but that is that for the sensitivity i urge you guys to try it out if you guys want a starting sense or something that's a little bit different from yours i really like this moving on to my map settings we are on rotate my center is off my map size is 982. My zoom is 0.874. My mini map vision codes are on so I can look and see what my teammates are seeing if they're across the map or something. And then I never show the map region names just so my map is cleaner and my UI is cleaner. I guess streamer mode doesn't really matter at all, but I just have hide my name from players outside of my party on. I'm still rocking right hand. I haven't really fully committed or wanted to really try 100% left handed, but let me know if you guys like it. I am right eye dominant. I just, it looks so weird for left handed and it would look weird on stream too because my camera's on the left. I guess all the other settings that really matter in this section are the fact that I have corpses off just so the, the ground is clear when there's dead bodies everywhere. I have blood on again because if you do headshot someone behind a wall or behind a box or something, the blood will actually splatter up in the air and you'll know that you dinked them through that box or something. Whereas if you had blood off, you wouldn't see that and you wouldn't know. I have tracers on just so I can see where my bullets are going, obviously, to make it easier to spray through smokes or something. This is a really minor mind game thing, but I do have show spectator count off because I don't know if you're like ever in a really clutch situation and you look at the top right and you know that all four of your teammates are just staring right at you, looking and judging everything you're doing. It kind of makes you a little bit scared. So I have that off just to prevent that possible mental thing from happening. And then all the observer stuff doesn't really matter at all. Moving on to controls for movement. We have WASD as always uh, defaulted to run because I don't know why you would want to default to walk. I don't know why you wouldn't want to be running at full speed all the time in any game, uh, except for this game, obviously, where you want to walk at specific times. Left shift is walk for me. Toggle walking is off. And then for jump, I have mouse wheel down and spacebar both bound, just specifically having spacebar for jet uh, glides. Crouch left control. Toggle crouch is off. And then the observer really doesn't matter. Moving on to equipment, I really haven't changed this in the last year at all. I don't think there really is anything changed, but I will still go through it for you guys. ADS toggle, sniper rifle is toggle, and then I have cycle for the op, just to keep it as uh, normal for me as possible since I'm coming from Counter-Strike. I just want it to feel exactly like the op as much as it can. And then I have auto re-enter on as well. Reload on R, primary, secondary, and melee are all one, two, three. Equip spike is B, and I have nothing for cycle to weapons at all, but I do have equip last used, which is what I use to like QQ just for random things or just to spam something. Uh, so that's on Q. Drop uh, is on G, which actually having my drop on G and then we'll get down to my ability here on V. They're kind of close together. So uh, I'll have my Reina dismiss or my jet dash on V and sometimes I'll accidentally fat finger and hit V and G at the same time. So I may move drop to some other button sometime in the future, but for now it's fine. That's what I've always used. Inspect is on T, use object and plant spike are both on F, but I have four 
uh, for plant spike, just in case someone plants next to a zip line on icebox. Got to have those little changes for those specific moments, like I'm saying. And then going on for my abilities, one through three, my ultimate ZVXZ, what I've used ever since this game started. That's also what I use on Counter-Strike for my utility. Um, so I try to keep it as close as possible, but they're all really comfortable for me to hit and uh, they might not be comfortable for you, but this is all personal preference. So if you're changing something up, Try it out. Let me know how you like it, but it really doesn't matter. It won't impact you much at all. And then my spray is M. Moving on to communication. Nothing crazy here, really. The only stuff that I really use are just for memes. I have the social radio command menu on six just to hey, say like, hey, thanks and random stuff to be funny. And then my ping button is actually why I do use that quite often. I'll sometimes hit it with my thumb since I do keep my keyboard pretty much like 90 degrees or I'll just hit it with my, my pointer finger. Uh, and then my binds for talking are going to be party chat on alt. And then my team chat is on my mouse. Interface, I'm pretty sure is pretty much all the same, except I have my buy menu on E. I have my map on hold on caps lock and my scoreboards on tab. I don't know if that's default. I can't remember. And then I use the right arrow button to toggle my cursor if I'm trying to like hover over something in the combat report over here. Moving on to the crosshair. This is a crosshair I recently switched to. I think this is actually Austin's crosshair, but I did not set it to that because of him. I just kind of was randomly trying them out and I really like this one. So uh, the color really doesn't matter because I'm on outlines, but uh, I use green. I think green and yellow are the most easy colors to see uh, to the eye. And, uh, you know, fun fact, that is why green screens are green. It's because it's the easiest color to make out for like the camera and everything and for editing. So if you're going to be, you know, green screening someone out of something, it's the easiest for the camera to see and easiest to cut them out around the person. So that's why I keep it on that just for like random science things. But technically, I guess would use yellow, but there's a lot of bright yellows everywhere for me. So I think just green is a good good color to use for me my outline opacity is 0.838 um i just you know i think it's a little bit too dark when it's on full so i just went to 838 there that is a significant number to me actually that used to be my uh bmx racing uh, number plate number but it's actually a good opacity so feel free to use that thickness is on one i have no center dot i do like to see my uh spectated players crosshairs to get new ideas and stuff and just to make fun of them it's a really cringy crosshair i do not use the fade out um with firing but i think i saw a couple people in vct using that unless it was like a glitch but it fades out the top crosshair line during your extended fire it says so i i don't know maybe i'll try in the future but it's off for now uh, my inner lines for this crosshair are going to be one, two, one, three. And I have movement and firing off. And uh, outer lines are on technically, but they're actually off, all on zeros. And uh, that is my crosshair. Moving over to my video settings. So I guess this is going to be where it's kind of specific to you and your, your GPU. But I like to have frames over looks, but I also like looks a little bit. So once we get into the graphics quality, I'll tell you guys what I'm using. But right now... Uh, I cap my frames at 300 because I do have a 240 hertz monitor, so I don't want it to stress my GPU too much by going over 300. I think 300 is just fine, so I cap it at that all the time. I feel like if you guys have an NVIDIA card, you should definitely always be using this NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency because it has the shortest amount of time from when something is processing on your computer and sending it to your screen. If you have the lowest amount of time on that, you'll have the competitive advantage, obviously, because you will be able to see that happening first. Moving over to the graphics quality. So the only two things I have on here in my settings are just multi-threaded rendering, and then I have improved clarity on, and then anastropic filtering. And this is basically just for skins, pretty much. <laughs> 16X makes the uh, skins look really nice. Uh, the, you know, your skins will not be choppy or anything on the gun. And then improved clarity, I think, just fixes colors a little bit and uh, ends up clearing everything up, obviously, as it says. And then anti-aliasing, on i used to actually have this on 2x i think just uh to prevent some super harsh edges on the outlines of players but none just kind of ends up being a little bit more clear to my eye specifically so that's why i keep it on none again this is all up to whatever you have in your pc but i think this is a really good base setting for if you want really good fps while keeping the game and your skins looking good moving on to stats the only things that i have on are client fps tick rate and then my ping and packet loss. Uh, audio settings. The only audio setting that really, really matters is um, I think HRTF. I definitely think you guys should have that on. It may sound really weird at first, but trust me, it helps you out and helps you pinpoint enemies so much more than if you did not have it on. You'll be able to know exactly when someone's behind you, 45 degrees behind you, directly to the right of you, through a wall or something. I definitely recommend turning it on. Again, if you've not been using it, it will sound really weird for a little bit, but you will get used to it. And then all of these are checked, and I think really the only thing that matters here is that um, VoIP will duck the flavor voiceovers, which means basically when someone's talking in game, it just brings down like your agents saying random stuff, so you can actually hear your teammates talking. And I think that is a sound in here. VoIP ducks music. Um, really doesn't matter because there's not music playing during your game, but 
you definitely want to hear your teammates and whoever you're playing with. So I recommend having those on. So that's going to do it for my settings video, guys. I hope some of these help you out if you guys are trying to figure out some specific settings to change up for the year. Or if you're just getting into Valorant, I hope these get you off on the right foot. Again, if they helped you, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. It helps me out so much. Come to the Twitch stream. I'd love to see you guys there. So with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And on that note, dot dot for now.